Hey guys, it's Pro Skepsis, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do screen flash effect in Sony Vegas Pro 12. So the first thing you want to do is drag in your clip to the timeline and disable resample. You can do this by going cl right clicking on the video, switches, and and disable resample. Next thing you want to do is bring in your audio clip, and I usually delete the audio from the gameplay. So you want to find the part where you want to add the beep, where you want to add the flashes to the beep. That sounds about good. So I'll just split the clip from there and move it back to the timeline. Alright, so now what we want to do is mark off whenever the beat drops on our timeline. So you can zoom in and out with your mouse and press M wherever you can see the beat drop. So I'll do this and come back. Okay, so I marked off wherever the beat dropped on my timeline and now we're going to go into our video effects and find color curves which is right here and apply it to our video clip. You want to go into animate and click on your first marker, go one keyframe behind and add a keyframe with this plus button right here. And you want to make sure that your this thing is enabled, sync cursor to media timeline. Okay, so now that we added a keyframe, we want to go back where our marker is and increase the brightness. You can do this by dragging this little thing in color curves all the way up. And then go two or three, however much you want it. And then add another keyframe and click that and click back to default. So basically we just made a little flash in our video so now instead of having to do that for every single one of these beats you can just click on all of the keyframes and click copy so now all you have to do is go one keyframe behind the marker add a keyframe and then just press paste so you want to do that for every single every single marker you have and I'll be back as soon as I'm done. Okay guys, so I'm back and all I did was apply the keyframes to every single marker and I pre-rendered the video so it wouldn't be laggy and this is the final effect that came out. As you can see that looked pretty good because the flashes were synced with the beat and that's all that I have today for this tutorial. See you guys later.